How was it to make it on the Olympic team in, in 84? The best way to kind of describe it, freshman year, national championship, sophomore year, when my second at UCLA on their court, that was wonderful. And we beat <laughs> uh, in the finals playing against Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And Pat Summit is the Olympic coach. Mm. So things start kind of slowing down where I'm thinking, okay, this is Olympics. It's in my backyard, you know, in Los Angeles, playing in the final game. Again, I don't know why I did a half of the things that I did, but I did. <laughs> We're killing them. We're winning. The game is, you know, and uh, there was a bet before the game. Sure, I dare you. <laughs> this is, I think it was Cynthia Cooper. I dare you to do something. I'm like, do what? She was, we know we're going to win this. I said, just do what? She goes, I want you to do a cartwheel. I said, during the game? And I said, okay, I'll do a cartwheel. You know, just knowing I wasn't going to yeah. do it. Well, anyways, got caught, caught up, make a great play. Game's rolling out, and I got fouled, and I'm by Tennessee's bench. Mm. And I do a cartwheel <laughs> in front of Coach Summit. And she's just sitting there. She's standing on the court, and she's just looking at me. Deadpan doesn't say anything. And then I didn't think about it. I was just, you know, celebrating. Yeah. So now I've got, I've, I've got to play for this woman. And, guys, she hated me. I'm talking about every time she got the opportunity to break me down, this woman would do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do it. If she could have got away with not starting me, yeah. she would have done it. But the wonderful thing that happened, and when I say that, she, she really gave it to me. I was having a really bad game in Taiwan, and I got low-bridged. Fell on my back and the ball's coming through the net. So I just kicked it. Just out of frustration. No big deal. Going at halftime. The whole team's not playing well. She has everybody stand up, lines us up, goes down the line. You know, just giving to, handing it to everybody. She comes to me and I got a knot in my throat and she, and she, she passes me. I was like, oh, thank you. Lord, I pray I will never do anything else. <laughs> thank you, Heavenly Father. We go, we say, okay, da 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 da, USA, we go to walk out. And she goes, wait a minute, I forgot one special person. <laughs> Cheryl Miller, <laughs> come here. And I was like, man. <laughs> so, yeah, yes, coach. She goes, no, I want you to come close because I want you to hear it, hear it. And she's like, this far, like from here to here, nose to nose. <laughs> I will win or lose a gold medal without you. You are not the best player on this team. Now, as confident, I, I told you from the very beginning of this interview, I'm sensitive. <laughs> yeah. So you know, what's the worst thing when you, you don't want to cry? You can't cry. Not in front of her. What's the worst thing a teammate can do when you that emotion? You about to be that emotional? Oh, you are. Right. That's, That's, <laughs> <it. laughs> That's it. That's it. And then it starts flowing. You know, and all of a sudden your your vision gets blurry and stuff yeah. like that. And I'm trying to get out, and Pam is hitting me from behind. Don't you? Don't you give it to her? Don't you give her to her? And then Pam's like, "Don't touch her. Don't touch her." And Pam's hitting me my back. <laughs> And so, uh, yeah, so halftime comes. I'm going to start the second half. Go, you know, on the court. She goes, come here, Miller. I'm like, what now? She goes, where do you think you're going? I'm like, coach, I'm going in the game. She goes, no, you're not. She goes, sit down. And I'm not talking about on the bench. You see where that water cooler is? Down there. And I was like, and the players are like, they looked at me. They looked at her. And then they looked down at the end of the I'm like, <laughs> this is the walk of shame, guys. Yeah. This is the walk of shame. Walk down there. Eventually, she puts me back in. Now there's a beef. I can't look at her. She won't look at me. Then we have to do individual meetings. You know, kumbaya. Coach wants to tell you what you are, what you aren't. And I'm just thinking, Lord, please don't let, I, I, I'll hit her if she says anything. <laughs> if she gets in my face, I'm going to hit her, Lord. And there goes my gold medal. There go, mom and dad's going to have to come up here. This won't be a bad scene. <laughs> so I ended up calling my mom and telling her before the whole meeting. She goes, don't worry about it. We just going to pray. Let's pray. 
And I said, okay. And she prayed, and I said, all right. She goes, but Pearl, Mama Pearl, don't you dare hit that woman. I said, I won't. She goes, but tell her one thing. I said, yeah. Tell her she can't win a gold medal without you. Mm-hmm. Sure enough, when Pat came in, <laughs> she goes, you want to know why I said what you did? I said, I don't know, coach. I don't know why you do half of that. I don't know why I do. Why? Why? She goes, because you don't play the game the right way. Mm. It's like, okay, so you're talking about defensively? She goes, no. Offensively? Do, do I share the ball? She goes, no, great passer. I said, then what don't, how, how do I not play the game right? Like, she goes, what's with all the antics? And you know, I haven't forgotten the cartwheel. Yeah. Now, see, this is all about that <laughs> cartwheel. <laughs> that cartwheel. I said, I'm sorry about that. She's like, no, but why do you have to celebrate? You celebrate on, you know, on a lape. You celebrate when you hit a shot. Why? I said, because I didn't, that's, that's how I play. I love the game. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm not showboating. I'm not a hot dog like you like to call me. I just love the game. And she goes, I said, can we just, I know you're strict. Can we just find a common ground? The common ground is that gold medal. And she goes, yes, it is. I said, coach, just so you know, you can't win a gold medal without me. <laughs> and she turns around. She goes, yeah, I know. And she <laughs> walks out. And from that, we were cool. Mm. We were cool. But it was, it was the greatest moment to win a gold, not only just a gold medal, but to have my parents in the stands and to put that gold medal around my mom and then my dad and just acknowledge everything that they did for me growing up. R.I.P. Pat Summit. That's a nice story. I like that. And God bless her. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs>